as I said, 50 years back, first time the concept of arms length principle was under OECD uh, Model Tax Convention in 1963. It was brought through Article 9. I'm just taking through the history of how uh, TV regulations have changed. Then in 1979, we had the first detailed TP guidance by the OECD. Then we moved to 1995. We have improvised version of TP guidance in 1995, which is 20 years back, almost. Then we had in 2010, we have further improvised guidance, and there were some small changes before 2010. And in 2010, a uh, lot of emphasis was made on people function. So those concepts were already there. There was a set uh, process a company has to follow to do a comparability analysis. And there was also uh, uh, emphasis on that you should not uh, select one specific method. Hierarchy of method was taken away. And then we had a profit split method. And you use all those concepts like value drivers. And then you split profit between two bodies. What has changed in October 2015 was basically a work by the OCD under BEPS. And in that work, we saw the issues of Action 8, 10, and Action 13. Now, if you, if you go through those Action 8, 10, and Action 13, you'll already, already find uh, the mentioning of value drivers already a couple of times in the guidance, right? That is about how the wordings included in the guidance. So the, which means that regulations or policy makers are expecting companies to look at business reality when they defend their arms length pricing. 